Hi everyone, this is Dr. Nelly. So in this video, I just want to work through an example of how to incorporate the Graham's uh, law, right, which is shown here, rate of effusion of gas 1 over rate of effusion of gas 2 is equal to the inverse ratio of their molar masses, take a square root of that. So I want to incorporate that into this problem, try to show you how to use that formula in this particular problem. Then what I want you to do is work on the second problem on your own and answer it on the question next to the video, on the form next to the video. Okay, so let's get started here with the uh, problem that we're going to work through. It says here that you have rate of effusion of two gases, in this case they're called Freon 12 and Freon 11. The ratio in this case is 1.07 to 1, that's the rate of uh, one, uh, you know 12 to 11. And then it tells you here that if the molar mass of Freon 11 happens to be this number, which of the following formula uh, can be for Freon 12? So obviously in order to get that, you first have to get the molar mass of Freon 12 and then you try to match it to one of these formulas right here. Okay, so here's that question again that's shown here now in um, uh, this form and so I can work through it at the bottom. So we start with, you know, again, our goal is basically to find the molar mass of this compound Freon 12, right, for Freon 12. And then once we get that number, we can match it to one of these formulas that are shown here. So that should be relatively um, straightforward in, in terms of using Graham's law. So we got rate of, uh, let's say, Freon 11 in this case, okay, over rate of Freon 12 and that should be the molar mass of Freon 12 over molar mass of Freon 11 so that's the way the relationship uh, works for Graham's law. So you can then do the calculation here by just putting in your uh, molar masses, right, so we got Freon 12, that's really the one that we're trying to figure out, so let's just symbolize that by X here, then we got molar mass of Freon 11, which is 137.4 grams per mole, okay, and then equal to um, the ratio here, now the ratio here that is shown is 1.07 to 1, that's for 12 to 11. We wrote it in such a way that it's 11 to 12, so then I have to invert that ratio, so it will just be 1 to 1.07. I can then square both sides of this equation, right, so then I'm left with x over 137.4 grams per mole on the left equals to the rate, which is just the square of that quantity, and then I just solve for x and I get x equal to 120 grams per mole or thereabouts and then what you'd have to do is find a molar mass that's closest to this in terms of uh, you know for all of the formulas that are given here and if you do that you'll find that CF2 Cl2 has that uh, actual molar mass okay the same one that's shown right here so that's how you incorporate Graham's law into a problem in this case a problem of trying to figure out molar mass of a, a or a formula of an unknown. This is actually common. You can do this in, a, in, in an experiment. Let's say you make a new gas and you're curious about what is the molar mass of that gas. So you can do a diffusion or an effusion experiment. You can kind of measure its relative rate to another gas uh, of a known speed or a known rate and then you just kind of see what is the ratio of that and that will tell you the uh, molar mass of the uh, unknown gas or the, or the new gas that you just made. So that would be exactly the same approach like how you did this calculation. Okay, so in the last part here I just want you to work through this problem. This is basically an effusion problem as well, although it's phrased a little bit differently. It's saying now in terms of, you know, it takes uh, 5.28 seconds for helium gas to effuse through a 15 milliliter, uh, for 15 milliliter of helium gas to effuse whereas it takes 14.9 seconds for uh, the same volume, which is 15 milliliters, for, uh, for an, a new gas to effuse through the same hole. So the question is, what's the molecular weight or molar mass of this unknown gas? Okay, so you want to work through this and then fill out the form next to the video.